This is a typical cubic graph which crosses the x-axis three times. We say that the solutions of the equation y equals zero are the places where the graph crosses the x-axis, in this case at negative one, zero, and positive one. If I move the graph up slightly, it still crosses the x-axis three times, here, here, and here. So the solutions of the equation y equals zero are those three values. If I move the graph up further, it seems as though it only crosses the x-axis once, here. It seems as though there's only one solution. If I move the graph downwards, again, it only crosses the x-axis once, here. However, we can find some complex x values which produce some more real y values. In order to plot these complex points, I need an imaginary x-axis, like this, which actually makes not just an x-axis, but a complex x-plane, like this. Now, the complex x values, which have real y values, are represented by these two curves. Now I call those phantom graphs. Now this time, as I move the graph upwards, you'll see that the graph still crosses the x-plane three times, here, and here, and here. These two are the complex solutions to the equation. Similarly, if I move the graph down to a position like this, then we have this solution is the real solution, and we have two other complex solutions to the equation y equals zero. I'm going to move the graph up to a special point here. Now the graph crosses the x-plane once here, but it crosses twice here. The main red part of the curve crosses this point, and the phantom also crosses at that point. In fact, this graph always has three solutions because it always crosses the x-plane exactly three times.